Hey guys, Alex here with another video and I have a little project in mind. Basically I'm going to upgrade the storage in my uh, in my iMac. I actually bought one of these uh, from uh, from Amazon. 4 terabyte hard drive. Um, it's uh, supposed to be really reliable. And I'm also going to be uh, upgrading uh, my solid state drive. I, I bought uh, one of these, a uh, Samsung 840 Pro. In place of the stock uh, SSD that came with the iMac, most uh, upgrades uh, that I've seen on the internet involve disassembling most of the machine on the inside. Yeah? And uh, you have to remove the, the main board in order to get the connector. Then you have to route the cables and install the SSD just behind the optical drive. If you ordered an iMac the way I did, uh, I have the 21 and a half inch iMac. If you ordered that one with the SSD option, uh, then it already comes with an SSD and an installation bracket already put in place behind the optical drive. So uh, I'm going to replace that with a faster one. The Samsung 840 is really fast. I have one in my MacBook Pro. The only reason why I'm doing it is because I feel comfortable with my abilities. I've worked on computers for a very long time. So um, I feel confident that I'm not going to mess things up. Hopefully if everything works fine after that, uh, the next video is going to be me talking to you on my upgraded iMac. Okay, so here's the iMac. It's lying down on the bed. I've removed the glass. I've taken off the LCD panel. and You can see the inside of the machine here. Um, so that's the hard drive right in the middle. That's what I'm going to have to remove and replace with the 4 terabyte hard drive. Up on the left side here, that's the power supply. Below the power supply is the cooling, the cooling for the main board and the CPU. And the main board goes all the way up and off to the right. And below that, you'll see the optical drive. And underneath the optical drive is the SSD that I need to replace. And below the optical drive, that's the fan. So I have access to most of the components, so I'm not going to have to disassemble most of the machine. And I'm not going to show you how to do that. I think it's going to be really boring, but I'll just explain what I have to do. I have to remove this hard drive and remove this optical drive and swap out the SSD underneath that and after I'm done I can put the computer back together and, uh, and then we'll see what happens. I actually managed the upgrades and I put in the new SSD and the new hard drive and everything is working just fine. Everything is working perfectly. This is the original SSD that was in the computer. They have the, the standard uh, SATA connections over here. It's an Apple SSD. It's branded Apple. There's the Apple logo right here. The, the case of this SSD, it's like a silver case. It, it actually looks really nice. I don't know if you can if you can see very well on the camera, but uh, it is a very nice looking uh, case, and it's going to look really nice uh, next to the aluminum iMac. And this is the this is the original the original hard drive that was in there. I took that one off. You can kind of see where the uh, where the little sticker was here. There's like the little tiny Apple logo here, and it says two terabytes on it. Is 3.0 gigabits per second. What I put in now, I put a SATA 3 hard drive with a 6 uh, gigabit per second interface. If you look up, you know, the system, the system information, here it is. You can see it actually registers uh, 6 gigabits. That's that's fantastic. And and the SSD also registers uh, 6 gigabits. Uh, and uh, so here's the uh, here's the result of the speed test. And um, it's very, very fast. The speed that I was getting was about 130, 150 megabytes per second uh, read and write. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm migrating all of my media over to the new 4 terabyte hard drive. I'm, overall, I'm very happy with the way this turned out. If you have any questions or if you want to see any specific links, uh, like I said, I'm going to put some links about how to disassemble the iMac if you're you know, feeling adventurous. But again, I don't really recommend it unless you feel confident, but if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and uh, I'll see what I can do for you.